Oh, they cook it for you fresh. Yeah, they cook it a la minute. So oh my goodness. So they will cook it by the grill and then they will serve it back. Holy cow, that's awesome. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen. You know, ever since I got to Singapore, my meals have pretty much revolved around hawker stalls with a delicious local food at super affordable prices. But today, I heard about this awesome all-you-can-eat barbecue buffet at the St. Regis Hotel. It's supposed to have all-you-can-eat steak, lamb, lobster, and of course, it's gonna be a little pricey. But I thought I'd splurge a little. But hey, I'm traveling. Let's go check it out. This barbecue night buffet, if you just want the food, coffee, tea, that's what I'm having, it's $88 per person. For all you can eat lobster, that's not a bad deal. All right, plate number one. I'm gonna start off a little light. Some rice salad, white asparagus, a little mozzarella cheese, octopus salad. This plate is really just food that my food typically eats. So I'm working my way up the food chain. Let's start off with a little octopus. Mm. Mm. Alright guys, you really don't need to see this. I mean, do you really even need to see a fight between Bruce Lee and, I, I don't know, Seth Rogen? That's not gonna be interesting. So I'll come get you when we get to the main event of this buffet. Plate two, bread. I'm pretty sure there's meat inside this bread. That I always approve of. Sun-dried tomatoes, two types of cheese, artichoke paste, and a bunch of cheeses. Plate two, still exhibition. Plate three, now it's getting a little interesting. This is the first time I put Tabasco sauce on a cocktail lobster. This is what I like to call an appetizer. I wish I could start off every single meal with a whole lobster. Oh yeah, it's fresh. Tabasco sauce on lobster, not too bad. This is a great way to start off this meal because guys, l let me show you what's gonna happen next. This is where this meal is gonna get really fun. Look at all this meat here. That's all gonna get cooked over here. Wood charcoal fire, best way to barbecue meat. Is that rack lamb? Yes. Let's do a piece of that. Let's do a cut of sirloin. Yeah, let's do a pork rib. Oh, heck yeah, sea bass. And check it out, these guys got hot oil. You can also sit out here and this will be your review. Not too shabby, right? All right. Thank you so much, sir. This is like the animal kingdom on a plate. Condiments, I got the hot oil, and I figured, you know what, I'll just throw some mustard on there. And salsa verde. First thing I'm gonna start with is the steak. This is a sirloin. It's cooked nicely. I asked for medium, looks like medium. First of all, I just wanna say, this smells insanely good. When you barbecue, you gotta use wooden charcoal. Uh -huh. Personally, the sirloin, it's not my favorite cut of meat. I, I like the ribeye, a little more fat content. But with that said, this steak is so tender, and it's just infused with smoke. Oh. I feel like I'm chewing on smoke right now. Oh, that's juicy. All right, crap. This is the first time I'm dipping steak in hot oil. I don't know how this is gonna go, but let's give it a try. Oh, I've told you guys this many times. Hot oil, I think goes with everything. Let's move on to the lamb. I love lamb ribs. I do. Oh, that's nice. See how juicy that is? I can basically taste that charcoal. And, and no, 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 that's not a bad thing. There's so much nice char on this lamb, you see this? This is just a big piece of fat, but you know what? I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and just douse this in hot oil as well. Oh, I love lamb. Lamb is just fattier. I can't beat that. And I know my mom will disapprove of this, but I love it when my meat is charred. Because I, I don't know, I just like that slightly bitter flavor to it. Uh, and I love it. 
because closer to the bones, the more charred this thing is. That's why I like to call it the lamb golden spot. The grilled lobster, I, I kind of like neglect it a little bit, so I feel like it's a little. I wish I ate this like five minutes ago. And this is a female and it has all this lobster roll attached to it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm not really that into fish roll or lobster roll. I'm just gonna dip this in a little salsa verde. I'll tell you guys right now, I'm most likely gonna get 10 more of these at a minimum. I mean, the meat has been left out a little too long, but uh, no, you can't beat that flavor. And look at this beauty. That's a sea bass. Look at, oh, look at that beautiful flesh. That's like a piece of sea bass you would get at a seafood restaurant. Only difference is, I can get as many pieces as I want. Put a little tomato on that. That fish is so incredibly tender. It's got a little char right on top. That really just seals in all that beautiful juice. <laughs> well, I love it when fish makes me happy. This is a uh, salmon kebab. You know what? Let's do a little hands on with this baby here. That's a fatty piece of salmon. That's a piece of salmon that's gonna keep you warm at night. <sighs> that was a good round three. For round four, Let's go for some more lobster. I just put in my barbecue order. I think it's gonna be about 10 minutes and I'm feeling a bit lonely. Hang on a second. Feeling a lot better. All right, just as I got the chilled lobsters, my, my barbecue plate came. Um, let, let me show you what's on here. To, to celebrate my fourth round, I got two halves of lobsters. Lamb, which I love. Salmon, which I love. Sea bass that I really love. Love char marks on lobster. Some people think flowers are beautiful. Some people think clouds are beautiful. I, I think, I think grilled lobsters are beautiful. To each his own, right? So I got the barbecue lobsters and I got the chilled lo you know. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I love one biter lobsters. And what's also really great about lobsters is that unlike relationships, lobsters are good both cold and hot. So here's how you do it. Buffet surf and turf, bite a lamb, and then you get a whole half a lobster. Also, while we're on the topic of lobsters and relationships, with lobsters, the cheesier the better. Well, that's all done, and I'm gonna stop right there because uh, I kind of wanted to take it a little easier tonight, you know? I didn't want to overeat, so I think eight lobster's my limit. Well, round four and five is done. Time for dessert. And, and before you say anything, no, dessert does not count as food, okay? Tiramisu. Oh. I think that about does it. Welcome to dessert round. And I'm not really sure what this is. Looks like just some sort of custard. Oh, really nice custard. Ooh, fruity too. Mmm. That is delicious. I think I'm gonna dip my cookie in it. I hope that's cool. Oh, no one's looking at me right now. And if anybody was, I wouldn't care because that was worth it. That's a really nice little sugar cookie with that beautiful fruity custard. Mm. And I know this is sweet on sweet, but trust me, this is not too much of a good thing. This chocolate cake, I mean, this thing looks so good just sitting there. Mm. Oh. If you could eat a cloud, this is what it would taste like. Look at this, super cute little cup of tiramisu. Look at a dainty little coffee bean on top. And maybe one of the best food items of the night. Oh man, dessert has been off the hook today. Mm. Oh, kiss me, Italy, that is good. Wow, what a great meal. You know, this meal had everything I love. Meat, lobster, meat, clams. Meat, mussels, meat, dessert, meat, more lobster, more meat. That just makes a great meal. And it had hot oil. I mean, what else could I ask for? And what, what I'm so grateful for is that instead of having to go catch a cab and go back to my hotel and, and then pass out, I can just get in an elevator right now, go up to my room and pass out. Which is like, you know, the way better version of passing out. <sighs>
Well guys, if you want to come here and check this place out, it's only available Friday from 7 to 10. I'll leave all the information for you in my description box below. <laughs> you know right now, I feel, I feel like a mixture of satisfaction, meat overload, so much sweets, and, and just overwhelming happiness. You know, it's funny because I started off really strong, but it was the buffet who ended up having the last punch. So I'm gonna go sleep it off because more food awaits me tomorrow. All right guys, thank you all so much for watching and until we eat again, see you later.